Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Wendy Devereaux here. If you would like to see how I made this purple blingy painting, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. I will leave a complete list in my description box below of the paint colors and the glitter and everything that I'm using. Um, I'm just kind of giving you a bird's eye view here. And for the sake of the length of this video, I will just, as I'm applying them to my canvas, I will point out the color and show you which ones it is. Um, I have a little bit of the purple uh, glass filler. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use any of that. For sure, I'm going to be using the same that I used in my turquoise slash teal painting. So if you haven't seen that, um, check it out. It's a really cool video. And my glitters are purples and silvers. And then I got this really nice, uh, chunky, iridescent glitter uh, the other day. So, okay, let's get started. I'm going to be using a 18 inch by 24 inch canvas. So I went ahead and I painted my line so that my two colors are gonna be balanced. And I noticed that I have a little bit of a tear in my canvas here, but that's okay. Um, that's gonna be covered up with the crushed glass and glitter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a light mist with my water. And spray a little bit of water on my brush. This brush is a little over three inches and it's flat and they are great for blending. And I am going to start out with my light color today. And rather than gray and white, I am going to use silver colors and white. So this is Silver Morning by Deco Art. And like I always do, I'm just going to squirt it on my canvas in a straight line. Which helps me keep my brush strokes straight. And I'm gonna put some white. And this color I love. It's a bright silver and it's it's just so so pretty. And Michael's finally got it back in the other day, so I bought a bunch of bottles. Okay, you guys, let's load up our brush here. Get our sides done right away. And the top. For the sake of these videos, you guys, um, I just get the uh, Artist Loft canvases that come in a package. But you can use whatever canvas. 
of course, that you want size or anything. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you, depending on where you want to hang it. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Got Angus hair in here, uh, which does not surprise me. My little doggo. What you want to try to avoid is going back over too too many times like if you can get it in the first swipe or even the second swipe you guys um you're going to maintain those nice uh streaks right Ooh, that's very pretty but i think i need a little more of the darker silver here. So I'm just gonna, a very light, very light brush stroke. There, that's good. If I went too heavy, it would have just blended right into my white. So, okay, you guys, we're on a roll here. I wanna be able to have this plate above so I'm not carrying um, paint with purple on it over my silver because if it dripped on my silver, I'd be so upset. Okay, now take that little thing off there. Okay, this is Majestic Purple from the dollar store. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use the clear crushed glass with my purple and silver glitters. If you hear me blowing, it's just I'm blowing dog hair off. So I don't, like it just flies, right? And this is an amethyst metallic. Amethyst is my birthstone color. So I think it is fitting that I use amethyst. And mm, let's go with, ooh, the perfect purple. That's even fun to say. Okay, whoa, there we go. This is a little bit thicker, which is fine. So because of that, I think I'm just going to maybe put a couple of dollops like this. That'll be good. And this one, you guys, this is new for me. It's a lilac ice. which doesn't want to come out. Don't be afraid, come on out. You'll be the star of the show. There we go. Okay, now I gotta go. I don't want, I don't want, it, I don't want it to come pouring out on me. Some white, just any white, you guys. Whatever you have on hand. Oh, I'm excited about this one. It's going to be very, very, very pretty. 
Okay, so away we go. We're gonna load our brush up here. And do one swoop. Get that in there. Do my side right away. Got a little purple there I can dip into. Turn that around before I put my brush right into that green or white and silver. Yeah, if you are using um, these cheaper canvases, you guys, um, if you if you do your rounded little corners there first, then when you um, go up with your brush like that, uh, you're gonna get a nice line. It's not um, gonna look like you've just painted over your You're not going to get that feathered look. So if you just maybe do it first. And I've got some loose hairs on this brush that I'm going to need to cut off. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to bring you down so you have a nice close-up. So, so pretty. I love these colors. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to let that completely dry, and then I am going to put a coat of gloss Mod Podge on. I'll just do that off camera, you guys. I will let that dry completely and then we will come back and we can start adding the glitter and crushed glass, all that blingy goodness. So we will see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so my Mod Podge is completely dry. And I do that because when I'm sprinkling the glitter, I don't want it to fly anywhere down into the paint. Um, I want that area to be free of glitter. And I ended up just taking my brush and doing a couple of quick swipes with some white paint. It just seemed to me that it was a little bit too much, uh, there was a little bit too much silver over there. And yeah. So I'm liking that look now, and we are going to go ahead and get some blingy goodness on here. So like in my turquoise painting, I am just going to add a small amount of the liquid glass into a cup here, and then I'm going to mix it with a little bit of glitter 
so that we can get our sides done first. And then that way, um, when, because you don't want to do your sides after you do the top because you have to lift your canvas up, right? So all your glass, all your glass is going to fall off on you. So we're just going to stir. I just added the uh, purple and the silver. I'm using this purple. It's called Muse. It's Recollections. It reminds me of a grape purple. And just the Recollections Extra Fine Glitter. So I just um, combined those two in here for my sides. So, just like before, we're going to concentrate um, on the middle where our two paint colors meet. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the the purple on here. I'm not going to bother with the silver. Okay, so just like my teal, we're going to concentrate going down. I know I go from teal to turquoise, you guys, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, you do if you've seen my video. And if you haven't, um, you should go check it out if you like those colors. Sorry, you guys. Um, this is Tri Art Liquid Glass that I've just poured down the center. Now we want to make sure that our little icicles are straight up and down. Just like the painting. get some of the glitter into the center here so that I know that where my two paint colors meet when I'm brushing everything off I'm not gonna go oops <laughs> Doki. I got a small layer of that on there. And now I just want to empty. This is a brand new, brand new jug of the clear. Um, this is the clear, and it does have the white on the back side of the mirror. But that's okay. I used that in the turquoise and I really, really liked it. So, okay, I am not going to overdo it. Just like I, um, just like in the turquoise slash teal. <laughs> like I said, I keep, <laughs> I keep going back and forth. Um,
come back with this oh wow this iridescent glitter is going to look fabulous on here you know this kind of um, painting technique when I did this in this color, it, um, you know, what it reminded me of was that, you know, that ribbon candy at Christmas time. That's, that's what this, that's what this reminds me of. in this center part okay you guys so we will let that dry uh, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now so I'm just gonna let that dry overnight and then in the morning I will bring you back and we will brush it off okay you guys so this has been on there for mm, five six hours now I didn't want to wait until morning. Um, so let's brush this off and see what we have. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. Like, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? This is insanely sparkly. And I'm attributing it to that chunky, iridescent glitter. It is, it's acting just like the crushed glass. The shine is insane. Like if you see those little uh, little triangles, that's that glitter. I hope you guys can get some of that because it is it is beautiful. Yeah, and this is just in the evening time with my lighting. The sun hasn't like it, the sun isn't even hitting it. Of course, it's nighttime, but yeah, it's beautiful. Love it. And I love the purples and mauves. My lines are nice and straight. They blended really, really nice. I'm just getting rid of these vases here. And I love the silver and white. Almost kind of gives it a, a burn wood effect, hey? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta show you from this angle. This, this glitter is freaking me out. Like, look at that. That is crazy. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload all my future videos. And always, you guys, I so, so appreciate you taking the time to watch. And God bless.